All right, Ryan here with longrangeonly.com, and in this video, we're going to do a follow up, uh, the second part of the series, if you will, to the uh, reloading basics. So, in the first video of this series, we talked about the pieces, uh, the components that you need to actually make a rifle cartridge. In this video, we're going to cover probably the most common question we see in the forum in private messages, on social media, direct messages, those types of things. So we're going to go ahead and cover the equipment needed to start reloading. And it, real quickly, we're just going to talk about the very basics, kind of like we did in the, uh, the components that you need. And I'll do some cutaways and I'll show you some of the other components that I use, or some of the other equipment, I should say, that I use uh, in my reloading. And but for here, we're just going to talk about from the basic standpoint. So you're going to need something to actually dispense your powder. Often that is one, one uh, piece of equipment does the dispensing and the weighing. But you're going to need something to dispense powder. You're going to need something to weigh powder charges. A lot of people will actually just do volume only. So they'll just dispense and then put that directly into their cartridge. Uh, I strongly encourage you to... Uh, weigh each charge and we will talk about that later down the road as to why but uh, in this video we're just talking about the equipment that you need so bare minimum a dispenser most likely you're going to weigh so uh, you're also going to need a press and this is just an arbor press used for bullet seating uh, most guys aren't going to use this style of press but like I said I will do some cutaways and, and do some video showing the uh, powder measures and dispensers that I use and I'll show uh, some video cutaways of the presses that I use um, but this one wouldn't be used for sizing but you're going to need a press that will do sizing and so walk through this process real quickly here while I'm in front of you you would resize the brass and it would decap it some guys do that in a separate operation but for basics we're going to just do it in one operation so you would size it and decap it they're going to need something to reprime it i strongly recommend a hand priming tool such as this one once you got it deprimed you're going to dispense your powder weigh your powder then you're going to use a funnel you're going to put that into your cartridge and then they're going to use a press to seat your bullet so that's the basics those are the pieces of equipment that you need to put together your rifle cartridge so I'm going to real quickly do some video cutaways of the equipment that I actually use and then we're going to move into the computer screen and we're going to do some shopping and I'm going to walk you through why you would choose one kit over another or why you would build your own and we're just going to real quickly go over that here. So the basic kits that include things like this. I would say would be for somebody that just wants to incorporate reloading into their hunting uh, setup. So they, they just want to take pride in the fact that they are killing their animals, uh, you know, feeding the family, whatever, while using ammo that they reloaded. So they're probably most often only shooting, you know, 20 to 50, maybe even 100 rounds a year. And ultimate accuracy isn't typically at the top of their priority list because they're only shooting a couple hundred yards. These basic kits are going to do everything that that person needs. Now, if you are wanting to stretch the distance or maybe you're just a plinker and you want accuracy, in both of those cases, you're going to want accuracy. And those guys are typically... Uh, practicing a lot more to make sure that they themselves can maintain the accuracy they need for just shooting and for taking game at longer ranges. Now some of these basic kits probably aren't going to work long term for them so I'll show you some other setups that would work a lot better for that. And before you even get into shopping for this stuff, you need to have a moment of honesty with yourself about which one of those you are going to be. Are you going to be the individual only shooting a couple uh, boxes of ammo a year, or you know, 20 to 50 uh, rounds a year? Or are you going to be the one that's going to want to shoot hundreds, if not thousands of rounds 
a year and you desire or demand accuracy because that, that really is going to uh, determine where I would recommend you getting the foot in the door. There's really no reason to buy a $200 kit when you're going to be upgrading every single component in it before the year is up in which case I would recommend you starting with a more high dollar kit or even building your own. So let's do a real quick video of me showing you some of the equipment that I use and then we'll hop onto the computer and take a look at some of the kits right, out there. So walk you through my process. I will decap and resize on one of my three presses. So right here in the, in the video picture, you've got the Forrester Coax and you got the Redding T7 and they each have their advantages and disadvantages, but that's where I start my process. So I will, right, like I said, resize and decap with those presses. And then I'll re-prime with those hand primers that I showed you. So then I've got a resized and primed case. All right, so then I will punch in the powder charge that I desire for the cartridge I'm reloading for into either the Charge Master or Charge Master Lite and let it spit out the powder charge that I want. And then I'll take that over and weigh it on the AND FX120i there to the right and get a more accurate uh, powder charge. Because those RCBS charge masters are 0.1 grain plus or minus, and you got 0.02, basically one kernel on the FX120. So then I will take the accurate powder charge off of the AND and I will dump that into my case, and then I'll go back to the presses that we just looked at, and we'll seat a bullet. So that's what I do. Now let's jump over to the computer and let's do some shopping and talk about uh, the kits available and why you would pick one over the other. All right, here we are in a web browser. Doesn't matter which one you use, obviously. Uh, and I'm going to rehash some things that we talked about in the opening sequence here. Uh, like I said, the most common question I see is we're wanting to get into reloading and we don't know where to start, what kit to get, what press to get, all those types of things. And uh, like I said already, we're going to reiterate some of those uh, things that we talked about in the opening. But... Uh, we're going to go through a shopping list here in, at Midway. There's numerous different sources. Uh, you, you probably know most of them, Brownells, uh, Amazon will have a lot of this stuff. And depending on which route you decide is best for you, you can actually piece some of these together and save money when when you time it right. So... Here are all the different reloading kits that Midway has available. Okay, so I have kind of looked through here and picked out the ones that I would suggest, and we're going to kind of walk through them here and, and see which ones might be the best for you. So this kit is actually the kit that I bought when I first started reloading and I outgrew it very quickly which is why I'm hesitant to recommend this kit to most of the people that are following us or that we talk to and like we talked about in the opening sequence I really see this kit being uh, for somebody that's gonna do a limited amount of reloading and only shooting short distances where accuracy isn't m maybe as important it is, as it is to certain other people. Uh, this kit will allow you to achieve ac uh, very good accuracy, but it just takes a little more time and attention to detail. But it has all the things that we need. It's got a obviously the press so you can uh, decap and resize your brass. It has a primer tool and this one is uh, kind of neat that it actually attaches to the press itself and it works very well and you can prime your case and then it's got a 
powder dispenser kind of looking at right here and then it's got a, a powder measure so you can weigh your charges it comes with a funnel and so you can put the powder into your case and then obviously you would seat your bullet using the press so this has everything you need but if you're doing high volume and wanting accuracy at the same time you're gonna have to dispense them all and then weigh them this isn't extremely easy process it it can like I said it can achieve the accuracy that a lot of us are after but it's just really time consuming and more cumbersome than it needs to be so realistically I would recommend this for someone who is only going to do a limited amount of reloading a year so you're gonna have to have uh, a moment of honesty with yourself and decide uh, what you want to accomplish this uh, with this process at $149 or $139 sorry um, it, that's typically it's typically on sale somewhere they get a list price of $199 so um, you might even be able to shop around and find it find it cheaper but uh, like I said, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy this with the anticipation of swapping out the parts and pieces later because I think it's just going to be a waste of money when it's all said and done. So we're just going to walk through a couple other kits here, and then we'll get to uh, what I recommend for most people that are going to be doing a lot of reloading. So here I got a Hornady Lock and Load Classic Single Stage Press. It's an excellent press. Um, Again, walking through the process, obviously the press is going to allow you to install your dies, um, both your sizing die and then the, the seater. One neat thing that this does have is it's got these lock and load bushings, so you can quickly change your dies out. And uh, those are actually available for other presses where you can replace the bushing in your other presses and use these. And it comes in quite handy if you're doing a lot of uh, reloading for different uh, cartridges. But in any case, it's got the press. It has the powder measure. It, it's got a or sorry, powder, powder dispenser. And then it's got a little tiny electronic scale. And then it's got a priming tool. And then obviously you would, uh, after you've primed it, put your charge in it and then you would seat your bullet. 329 bucks. you can often uh, find these cheaper and they do often have rebates available. So this is uh, a kit that I would recommend uh, kind of for the same same person uh, as the Lee Challenger breech lock system. I would say that this one's going to be a little more, uh, it's going to be quicker to get cartridges and it's going to be a little more uh, precise, quick, quicker with the scale. Like I said, those, those beam scales you can get pretty good accuracy, but they take a long time, relatively speaking. So if you're going to be doing a lot more reloading, and expect accuracy and want to keep your time to a minimum this would be a kit that I would strongly recommend over the Lee uh, like I said the Lee would be for a, a, somebody that is absolutely sure they're not going to do any high volume loading and accuracy is maybe not as big of a concern okay just thought I'd look at this one uh, it's got a Reading Big Boss 2 single stage press um, now this kit doesn't have uh, a lot of the things that you're going to need. You're going to get a scale or a, sorry, a powder dispenser outside of this, which is going to add a lot of a lot of cost. So it does have a way to measure. It doesn't come with a way to prime it. Uh, so you're going to be missing a lot of pieces on it. I really kind of threw this in there as a kit that I really wouldn't recommend and. I'll, I'll show you why when we're before I leave this little shopping spree. Um, by the time you buy the stuff that you're going to need to actually accomplish the task, you'd be better off just piecing it together. Uh, we're going to go look at this Rock Chucker 
Supreme kit. You know, this is one of the best presses you can buy. Uh, it comes with a dispenser. It comes with a beam scale for measuring. It comes with a priming tool. So this kit has everything that you actually have to have to assemble a cartridge. So you would resize it and decap it. You would prime it. You would dispense your powder, measure your powder, dump it into the cartridge using the funnel, and then seat your bullet. Like I said, it has everything that you need. So where would I recommend this? I would recommend this to somebody who just wants to get started, but they know that once they get started, they're probably going to want to do some upgrades and they would still want to use the press. Even, even in my system, the powder dispenser comes in handy once in a while. So the only thing that I would see if you're going to progress in your reloading uh, career to requiring more accuracy and wanting faster speed, the beam scale eventually is going to not work for you. But this priming tool is one of the best out there. Uh, it's got a little trickler which I use and I don't really use it the way it's intended but you'll you'll most likely use that your entire reloading career so at 380 bucks this is something I would recommend who's for somebody who just wants to get started the volume may not be crazy high at first and they may be accepting a little less accuracy uh, or be willing to put in the extra time like I said you can get extreme accuracy with this setup. It's just really time consuming waiting for that beam scale to balance out every time. So we're going to go to what I would recommend to somebody that knows without a doubt they're probably going to be doing a lot of high volume shooting and they also want to get uh, super accurate loads. And then we'll kind of add on to that and then we'll We'll go back and rehash all this. So for somebody who's going to get started into reloading, but they know for a fact or they're highly confident that they're going to progress in their requirements, their the volume and accuracy, this is what I would recommend. So Rock Chucker Supreme single stage press. And, you know, this is 185 bucks. You can usually find them on sale. You can find rebates, whatever. Like I said, if you do go this route, you could you could wait and you could even piece it together as time goes and money permits. So you would use this to resize and decap. And then obviously you've got to put a primer back in it. Um, this universal works really good. You could get the, the one that RCBS sells just like it that's not universal. It works extremely well too. Uh, the, the beauty about this little shopping cart I put together is you can actually swap out. If you don't want this rock trucker, you could get a different press. Or this, you could get a different one. Um, as far as dispensing, I've used the Charge Master and Charge Master Lite both. And I've lost track of how many rounds I've put through or, or you know put together using both. And they're for all intents and purposes, the, the same, especially for just dispensing power, powder, which is what I use it for. I don't get any of the crazy features, the memories and stuff like that. So this is a great powder dispenser. Now it is a plus or minus 0.1 grain. So it, it could be definitely better, especially if you want extreme accuracy. And I'll come back to that in a second. But this will accomplish the task it dispenses the powder, weighs it at the same time. And then I just threw in this real quick Lyman Brass Smith Pro Funnel because you're going to need a way to get your uh, powder out of this into your cartridge. And then obviously you'd come back here and seat your bullet. So if you know you're going to be high volume shooting and accuracy is a must, this is where I would recommend starting. And like I said, you could swap out uh, the rock chucker, or you could get a different uh, funnel, uh, or you could get a different priming tool. And then when you get established and you want to get more accurate and you want to get 
uh, to a point where you're working on your extreme spreads and stuff like that, you can throw in a real high quality powder uh, measure to get down to those 0 0.02 grains, which would be basically a kernel of powder for most powders. It, like I said, it's going to depend on which powder, but you could throw in a A and D or eventually move up to uh, like a uh, one of those automated A and D setups, the V3, V3 auto trickler setups and stuff like that. But this this is a, a great starter kit for someone that knows they're going to eventually uh, want to upgrade their their stuff. And you can almost always find this on sale somewhere. They have rebates a couple times a year. I've bought both of mine for under $200. Same with the Rock Chucker Supreme. I've had mine for a long time. I don't even remember when I bought it, but it was quite a bit cheaper, and I know things have gotten more expensive. So um, you can find these cheaper. You can find them with rebates. So like I said, this is what I would start with for uh, someone getting into it. Uh, in later videos, I will individually talk about why you would pick one press over another. And if you decided that one of those other presses is something that you would be interested in, all you got to do is just swap that press in place of the rock chucker. If for some reason you think you'd rather have a different powder measure, you can uh, swap it out for here. This makes this this uh, super flexible so let's walk through it again start with the Lee Challenger breech lock I would recommend this for somebody who's not going to be doing a lot of high volume shooting and maybe accuracy isn't uh, at the top of your list so let's be honest with ourselves when we're talking about what we want to accomplish when we're getting into reloading if you know you're never going to shoot past a couple hundred yards and you're shooting less than I would say 100 rounds a year there really is no reason to buy a different kit. This will do what you need to do. One minute of accuracy will be absolutely no problem with a well-built rifle, even probably most factory rifles today. With this kit, it'll save you a lot of money. You can spend it on components, you know, do, do whatever else you want with your money. It will accomplish the task. And we're going to move on. This is kind of going out of order. This is just one of those other kits out there. I, I wouldn't recommend it all because if you start doing any reloading uh, at all, the beam scale is not really going to work for you. You still need a powder dispenser. You still need priming tools, all that kind of stuff. So this I just threw out there as another kit out there um, and wanted to talk about some of the some of the negative things about certain kits. Like I said, there's there's nothing wrong with the press. It's just it's quite a bit of money for what you're getting for a kit. So I wouldn't recommend that. Now back to the Hornady Lock and Load Classic Single Stage Press Kit. This is another great kit, great press. Um, I would say it's going to be a little bit higher quality than that Lee setup. It's got a priming tool that uh, is going to be very universal. You know, you can go sit on the couch or whatever and prime, whereas this one... Uh, the priming tool is actually attached to the press. It works very well, but you're stuck to the press. Um, and when you're doing a lot of high volume stuff, you don't always want to be sitting there at the bench. You might want to go do something else, and you can use this. So it's got a real high quality uh, powder dispenser. And then I didn't get into the specs on this electronic scale. It's probably not very accurate. I would guess it's probably going to be uh, a tenth of a grain, maybe even two tenths of a grain, but it would work and it's going to be quicker than the balance scale. And then uh, that that one should cover you. 330 bucks is not a bad price. So then you get into uh, the Rock Trucker Supreme Master Kit. This has everything. Like you would use this press for the rest of your life. Never wear it out. You'll you'll be very happy with it. And like I said, when it comes to if you get to where you're swapping a lot of cartridges and stuff like that, you can buy the Hornady lock and load bushing kit. So you just swap out this little bushing that looks like right 
right there probably well I can't tell if that's it but there's a little bushing in the top of the press there you can take out and then put those lock and load bushings in and have a quick die change set up um, you will if you do a lot of high volume you're going to outgrow the beam scale like I've said several times but this would be a great kit for someone who wants to start and, and it might be a little while before they want to advance and then we're going to come back to the the little shopping cart kit I put together like I said for someone who's going to be demanding of the quality of ammo they put out and they're going to be doing a lot of high volume stuff and and they're going to be using their reloading equipment quite a bit this is going to be a real good kit it's got a great press uh, a good hand priming tool uh, funnel system which you you can spend more you can spend less and then as far as a what I'm going to say a relatively inexpensive setup for dispensing and weighing your powder this is one of the best if not the best out there it, in my opinion the RCBS is better than the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal and the Hornady and the Lyman powder dispensers so here's a real good look at the at the pieces I would recommend and why I think that that is the best way to break it down and if you have questions you can hit me up on the longrangeonly.com forum but we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up we we talked about the things at the very beginning that you're going to have to have in order to start reloading I looked over some of the uh, different pieces of equipment you are going to have to have in future videos I will break down individually why you would pick one uh, press over another and why you might pick one dispenser slash scale over another we will talk about hand priming tools it kinda of depends on the feedback like I said at the beginning you you guys can have some input on where this goes but I think that covers a few of the uh, better options out there for getting started in reloading we will have a link to a thread on longrangeonly.com in the forum you can head on over uh, and ask me any questions in the forum and we'll place that in the description below please like the video subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications so that you can be notified when we have uh, future video releases especially if you want to follow this series or some of the other series that we have going on we appreciate you taking the time to watch the video have a great day